Hi everyone, this is uh, just going to be a short little video on uh, the financial statements uh, template that's available um, at accountingexcel.com and uh, it's available in the store and there's a link in the description to the actual template if you want to download it. Um, so just real quick, um, oh and there's also going to be a, a video um, showing how to prepare your financial statements so if you're you know, looking to get some guidance on that, you can check out the other video. Um, but let me just go ahead and show you how the template works. So I've created, um, there's four basic financial statements. There's the balance sheet, which is on this tab, balance sheet tab. Then there's the income statement, which is on the income statement tab. Uh, statement of members equity or owner's equity, um, depending on if you're an LLC or a corporation, this could change to stockholder's equity. Um, and then the statement of cash flows. So those are your four basic financial statements. Um, so just to get started on the balance sheet, um, up here in the left-hand corner, I have a spot where you can put the name of your company. So for this uh, video, I'll just put in Accounting Excel. Um, and then for each of the financial statements, you can put in the name of the company up the top. walk through this real quick okay on the balance sheet there's a uh, assets place for assets place for your liabilities and then your um, owner's equity down here so just, just kind of show you how it works there's the current year column and then there's the comparative financial statements from prior year. So if you want to just put some numbers in there, uh, there's some, you know, there's some formulas in here that kind of adds things up for you, sums it all up, so that your total assets work out. So put in, you know, a million dollars worth of cash for prior year, and then put in accounts receivable. Just put in five hundred thousand. And then we'll put in two million for this year. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Oh. So you can see how it kind of works. It just adds it up down here to your total assets. Um, go ahead and put in some liabilities. We'll put in accounts payable. And we'll just put in two hundred fifty thousand for prior year. 500,000 for this year. And then uh, go ahead and put in some, let's just put in uh, preferred series A. And we'll put in a million for this year. And put in two million for, uh, for this year, put in a million for last year. And then we'll just go ahead and add retained earnings. Okay. So that's kind of how the balance sheet works. And then once you get everything in there that you want, go ahead and hide your, hide what you don't need. Okay, so you have a nice little balance sheet there, all ready to go. And I'm also going to make another video about uh, linking your financials to a Word document. A lot of times, what you would, you know, like to do in practice is create your financial statements in uh, Microsoft Excel so that you can add your trial balance here and create your financial statements from your trial balance, and then. Whenever you prepare your notes for your financial statements, it's easier to do it in Microsoft Word, so you want to be able to link your Microsoft Excel to your Word documents, and I'll make a video showing that. 
Um, then same kind of deal with the income statement. Um, so you have your revenue, let's just put in 1.5 million. And we'll just put in 2 million for this year. And then this is your cost of, cost of goods sold or cost of revenue. So we'll just put some numbers in here, just for an example. So you can see that our gross profit is 750,000 for uh, the prior year, and then put in 750 for this year. And then your gross profits 1,250,000 for uh, for the current year. And then down here is your operating expenses, so like SG&A expenses, selling general administrative. We'll just put some numbers in here. And then you know you can add. There's up to 10 spots where you can add different ones. So you can go ahead and add those, hide them if you don't need them, or you can add additional ones. And then other non-operating expenses, uh, you know, like interest expense, things like that, you can add here. If you don't need it, you can hide it. And then income tax expense, you can add down here. If you have any other comprehensive income, uh, you can add that. And then that kind of gets you to your total down at the bottom. All right, so that's the income statement. Um, members equity kind of rolls forward uh, you know if you have different types of stock or uh, member units you can put those in here there's different spots you can add as necessary or delete as necessary but just to show you kind of how it flows uh, we'll just put in a million dollars for series A preferred and we'll put in a million dollars for series B Okay, um, so that's kind of how it works, and then it flows all the way down to the bottom, where you can see what your ending balances are in the current year, and these would match up to your balance sheet um, down here. So I'm going to just go ahead and add your net income. So net income, three hundred fifty thousand for last year that would go in here um, as an increase in retained earnings so oops. about 350 and then your net income for this current year is 750,000 so you can see at the end your retained earnings is 1.1 million and it doesn't match on this example but it would normally match up with your retained earnings here so that's kind of how it works um, and the statement of cash flows uh, there's another video um, showing how to prepare your statement of cash flows um, and there's a tool at the, uh, the store at accountingexcel.com um, that you can download and, and really helps you when you're trying to prepare your statement of cash flows. But uh, this is kind of the same, same kind of deal as with the balance sheet. There's plenty of room for you know, adding different, different line items. Um, here you can put your net income in from, uh, from your income statement and kind of start there. And like I said, definitely want to check out the, uh, the video on preparing your statement of cash flows. So this kind of has, you know, your different areas, uh, your cash flows from operations, your cash flows from investing activities, your cash flows from financing activities, and then beginning of the year cash, ending of the year, and a little check down here to make sure that, um, make sure that everything balances with your balance sheet. So at the end, your end of year cash should should match up with your cash and cash equivalents on the balance sheet. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section, or you know, leave a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see, um, any kind of videos you'd want to learn about, um, and uh, go ahead and feel think this video is helpful. Hit the subscribe button, um, like the video, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.